Ephesians 5.30, for we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. We are, it's just what I said a while ago. Any place where there is a body, whether it's your personal physical body, or the body of your home, or let's say the body of a church, or the entire church gathered together in the last days, that's the body. We are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. So, as we've been seeing, with everything that we've talked about so far in this series, what we're seeing is, number one, the gospel is in every part of our body. It's in our red blood cells. It's in the idea that we are the temple of God. But in this case here, the gospel can be seen in the bones, what God is doing. The work of God, the handiwork of God, the methods of God, the numbers and the order and the patterns of God, they are all represented in our bones and in our skeletal structure. So here's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at the skeleton. We're going to deal with the back, the legs, the hands, the arms, the skull. We're going to deal with all of those. First of all, we're going to deal with the back. Take a look at this. This is a picture of your backbone, of your spine. You can see that it provides, it basically is the stand or the tree or the trunk upon which the whole body is joined together. In other words, the legs are connected to the hips, but the hips at the sacrum are connected to the backbone. The backbone, the, your hands are connected to your arms, your arms are connected into your shoulders, your sh shoulders tie in to your backbone. Your head sits right on top of your backbone. So e everything about our body eventually connects to the spine or the backbone. This is what I like. Take a look at this. There are 33 bones in your spinal column. And we look at that verse, the whole body fitly joined together. We're joined into Christ. Think of that number 33. Who had that number on them? Christ did. When he died, when he bore our transgressions and our sins to the cross, he was 33 years old. All right? Now he's timeless. He's ageless. All right? But 33. Christ is, or our backbone, I'll say it this way, our backbone is the representation of Jesus Christ, the one with whom the whole body is fitly framed and joined together. All right? Places in the Bible, I got to show you this. Places in the Bible that sort of show forth the idea of the back or the backbone or the spine or what it represents. All right? Now watch this. I learned this a long time ago when I started counting things in the Bible. There are 1,189 chapters in your Bible. That's an odd number, which means if you were to divide them by two, you're going to have one as a remainder, which means that there is going to be a middle chapter, and there's going to be an equal amount of, I think it's 594 on this side, 594 on that side. You're going to have an equal amount of chapters on both sides, and you're going to have one chapter that's in the exact chapter middle of your Bible, because... Uh, 1189 divided by 2 is a, it's an odd number, and so you're going to have a remainder of 1. That one chapter, look at this, okay? Even the printing of my Bible, the book, this is called the spine of the book. The spine, if I look down, this is my old Bible, and it's held together pretty good. But the spine is where all of these pages are stitched and glued together. 